Hello everyone, welcome back finally to um Tales of Spirit Definitive Edition. Um when we last left off, we were in the Forest Kid Mock, so God. <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? Yeah, I'm glad she's supposed to go that way. We'll destroy them in no time. Oh, guess we're done. Oh yeah, we are. Did that respawn? That's lovely. Oh fuck! Leave it to me! Nice It's a mimic! Are you serious? Nice and stark! Flickering blades burn! Damn, that hurt. I'm glad we're still alive. Let them go! You want revenge? Bring it! Lemon bottle, that's good. Let's get this over with. I'll blow you away! You didn't think I was that strong? Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Drag it up! Oh, flickering blade I got a little work. Maybe I am going the wrong way. You don't scare me. Stop! Just run! Okay, let's go. Hooray for the old man! Hey, 
Hey, can we get out of this forest sometime soon? Is something the matter? You look nervous, Carol. N no way. W what are you talking about? Whoa, check out this weird bug. I've never seen one this gross before. <laughs> oh, and yet, you don't mind picking it up like that? Hey, Carol, any idea what kind of bug this is? Keep that thing away from me! What's the matter? Huh? It's just that poor bug being manhandled like that. Let it go. It wants to be free. Really? Really. Hmm. So I am going the right way. You don't scare me. I got a little work. Oh, man. All right, all right. Who's up for more? Not you. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. What's up with... Larva, level 25. Ooh, fuck. Forest? I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. This must be why the town kept getting attacked by monsters. We have to get them before they get us. We might not make it back alive. So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. Full power!
had to sell this fight. Whoops! from again. What a way to start the episode, eh? Let's just get Man, I wish we could get out of here already. Don't get so flustered, boy. We'll get out of here nice and easy, you'll see. Not everyone leads a carefree life of unicorns and rainbows like you, you know. Life is a lot like this forest. Winding paths, intertwining. Ah, this forest is really relaxing. Come on, let's leave our philosopher behind and get a move on. Listen to what I've got to say! So you mean we're lost in the forest of life? Oh, so you get what I'm saying. Before we find our way out of the forest of life, we need to find our way out of this one. I'll lead. I have found direction in this life more times than... <laughs> hey, wait! I'm not done yet! So, Carol's out. I'm debating if. Okay, I'm gonna try it with Repeat. I'm gonna try it with Repeat. If not, I'm gonna swap. I'm not with Raven out. There's no point. Ooh, that's the part I'm worried about. But, good. I might have to grind later. What's up with this forest? I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We got to get them before they get us. So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. Someone protect me while I'm casting. Okay. Oh, 
do it. Holy power, yeah. come to me! First aid! The flickering blaze burn! Come you to me! Okay, it's like... First aid! What's that about? Fuck me! No, no, no. So much. Oh, that's too bad. The reason why I want to restart this is because um, I think I need free relay and um, so. so just hold on one second. I'm going to stop recording and. Pause for I'm sorry, and we're going to restart this guy. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry, right, still. I'm taking in the good boy. We're trying this again. I'm gonna play Keep Away from the Watering Hole. Let's see what happens. There's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over We're with. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't oh. careful. Holy power, come to me! Take this! First You're time. dead! You're Holy power, too late! First aid! Hey. Holy power, come to me! First aid! Take this! this again I might have to grind a little bit though sorry
Man, could you be any weaker? Let's just get it over with. Oh. Take this! I got a little worked up. I feel powerful. From behind? Oh, man. We can still overcome this. <laughs> Destruct all the this? Smile and Man, I was just... Oh, there's no challenge at all. Don't get careless. Azure! Come on! Azure Edge! So, yeah, just stay dead. Guess we can do this. Destruction field! Wonderful! You want revenge? Bring it! Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! I got a little worked up. Okay, that's good now. Oh man. All right, all right. Destruction field! Delight roll! Not bad. Come on, wait. Come around and First aid! Holy power, come to me! 
Hey, that was a nice break from things. This is my victory po- Oh, 
That angered you. I won't lose. Okay, cool. Lovely. This? No, this is... Oh, man. All right, all right. Just getting warmed up. Don't get sloppy. Dragon on the Man, I was just getting- I just keep-
will destroy them in no time! Destroy! <laughs> Caprice of innocent <laughs> <Hold on>. You thought you could win? Too bad. This looks easy. Don't get careless. You in the next week. I am to. Okay, I'm about to. That's fine. Don't get sloppy. Crushing it. Let's get this over with. I got a little worked up. Oh man. All right, all right. Okay, let's go. I feel that's the piece of cake. Don't let him trip you up. It'll be a hundred years before you... Let's eliminate them! Not bad! Destruction field! Here I go! Holy power! Someone protect me while I'm casting! Alright, I'm on it! Take this! Come to me! It'll be a hundred years before you can be... Guess we can do this. Man, could you be any weaker? Let me out of <laughs> destruction field! Oh, come to me, innocent brothers! Oh, flickering blaze burn! Take this! Let them. Oh, that was mean! Shall I 
heal you? Don't It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. I'm gonna try to at least get repeat level up just in case this thing go off. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. <laughs> Holy cow, come to me! Okay, let's go. One more fight. You're going bye bye. Uh, Holy power, come to uh, me. Flickering blaze, burn. Uh, Holy power, come to me. Destruction field. I don't feel good. Uh, uh, Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Okay, that quote always reminds me of, um... There's this... Oh, the Anger... It, it's called the Anger Beavers, right? Where there's like two brothers, it was on Nickelodeon. For the longest time. I think it might be Canadian production, I'm not sure. And, um, there was an episode where, like, the blonde one bops the other brown one for annoying him with his boxing glove. It's next week. It's the last week. No, it's the last week. It's really funny. But, um, before we take on this boss again, I think I'm going to get a drink. And we'll be, I'm gonna run some ads and we are going to be right back. Hold on. And we are back. Let's try this again. Better. Well, a little better, but let's kick it on. Is the air causing this? This must be why the tip. I'll get getting attacked by monsters. I is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. We might not make it back alive. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful.
screwed up. Holy power, come to me! Are you a okay? ah! Holy ah! power, come to me! Ah! Ah! This first aid! If not, we're going to go ahead and go back. Is the air causing this? Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. <laughs>
God. I was so surprised. You can't relax yet. The air is still out of control. Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. Thank you, Rita. You are freaking awesome. You saved me. Absolutely saved me there. the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. God, the star captain there. Works so well. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. We're probably going to. We're at the big party. Of course we are. Oh! Is he? And he straight up deletes the monster. Duke. Wait. Sword. Let me see. Sword of Origin. Kidding. <laughs> A 
How did you do that back there? You, like, sliced through the air, but... but that's impossible! What good would that knowledge do you? Well, I mean, with something like that, we might be able to stop the Blastia from going berserk. We saw that happen to a Blastia. The air was out of control. We couldn't do anything. This was only a distortion. It is a natural occurrence. Distortion? Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the Air Krenne. Huh? What do you mean, Air Krenne? This place? Air Krenne are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. Hm. We would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. That power. Right. Could it be Don't the Rizzo Mata formula? Doesn't elaborate. Leaves. That's why he did. I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, I guess we are. Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. Just in case I missed a step, but I don't think I did. Guess we can do this. Of course, that happened. You want revenge? Bring it! Thank you! Thank you! We'll destroy them in no time! Destruction field! A flickering blades burn!
Why is that a yeah, I guess we'll fight. Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Keep your head down! It's... it's them! Dawn! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off! What did you do? Yuri, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air. No, I think because Duke stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica. And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me. Could I see him for a moment? What? Oh. You can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm. Ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Oh, please, you weren't even the party. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow, that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. You can go first, Raven. Hey, he just took off. 
All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. Okay. If you're so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my oh, story. Okay. okay. I'll, die. Azure, I'll blow you away. I screwed up. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up. This is gonna turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. You kicked my ass. Done. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm. A guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? You all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. <laughs> all right, I'd like to go nothing. back to Dongress to meet with Adon and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Just who was that strange person with the sword, anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, he's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even, like, meditative. Well, whatever. He was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all. Oh my god, they're chasing me! <laughs> okay. You want revenge? That's the best freaking part. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get caught. Okay, Hawker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Holy power! Don Whitehorse. <laughs> I can see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. He's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. 
I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Dawn so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? Let's work together! Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Like an Got easy it. win. Don't get careless. Think! Think before you use your arts! Guess I overdid it. Raven was a member of Altosk. It looked like he and the Dawn were close. The old man probably has a pretty important job. Yeah. It's hard to believe, but he's probably one of Altosk's top officers. The fact that he can leave town on guild business shows the Dawn trusts him. That old man. You can't judge a book by its cover, Rita. Fishier and fishier. It'll be a hundred years before you can... that old fogey beat me. Did you really plan on beating him? There's no way! He's a living legend! No one can take him down! Yeah, but being in shape like that at his age would be enough. I got nervous just hearing you were gonna fight him. Why is that? Most kids that square off against him end up in bed for a week with half a dozen broken ribs. What drunk told you that? It's the honest truth. Count your lucky stars he was in a sporting mood. I heard he herded up a hundred of those turtle monsters with the spiky shells and killed them all at once. And there's a legend that when Dongrest Barrier was failing, he took a chain and fixed it himself. No human could do that. But I'll beat him one day. I swear. You still planning on winning? That kid's a ball of stubborn pride.
gonna heal up just in case the fight breaks out. That one's definitely it. Oh my god! Forgot about that. This time is pretty good, I'm pretty good
Okay, yeah, it's John's chamber. Good. So you've oh. come back, have yeah, you? Yeah, Flynn's back. Yeah, okay. Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos' example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. Huh. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. I guess maybe we ha we're looking at our big bad. Barbos. <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send a message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolic is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. Yeah, definitely. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud! If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Someone's going behind Slim's back! What? What is this? Looks like you and the young Master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say yeah. such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap! It'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All our war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital! Try and make a fool out of me. I'll tell you. Oh my god! The There's a civil them. war about to break out! There's a whole conflict! This is bad! 
And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. Yeah, there's no there way must be did. some mistake. There's no way. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. Yeah, let's go after this. You look at the pot, your face is turning red. Oh, yeah. Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna oh, go look. Gonna you wait here. Around. Okay, don't take too long. Alrighty, now to go see how Flynn's holding up. Yeah, obviously. This might be our stopping point after this. I thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. Right. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. <laughs> Is he gonna I was stay wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri. If I don't make it back... You'll have to die oh, in my man. place. Right. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. fucking execute him. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This I, coming I from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. 
You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts, you from somewhere nearby. If you knew it's the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up down like that? here? Earlier, no, it's gay. It's no, no, there's no way it's him. Yeah, if I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... <laughs> so if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Mm -hmm. Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. through is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding we'll teach those imperial bastards to look down on us oh yuri have you finished healing the injured yet how did you know that the don told me this is from him his way of saying thanks but yuri things have gotten really bad yeah i noticed no that's not what i mean What else? I saw them! You saw who? Red eyes. The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Don wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Where were you talking with the Don, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain.
Where are they then? Go inside. But if Barbos is in there, then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to. Oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you. Well, you have tricked us before. I can handle getting tricked a couple times, but there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <laughs> nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you. We're coming through. What is this place? He owns it. Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm... Nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. Really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <coughs> hmm. Is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. I can't see anything. 
it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Luxblastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light. We need to charge up some air before it goes out. Well, there's what a good the? reason. <laughs> Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor. Sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. What's up, Pupper? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay oh. too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. <laughs> oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie! Where'd you- Ugh. Ow! Ah. There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out! Okay, that's fine. Let's eliminate them! We'll shoot! We're done. Oh, I guess. Oh wow. That's, uh... Do we have to take them all out? We'll crush them all. Yes, we will have to take them all out. All the same, okay.
<laughs> I got a little worked up. I feel power. Level up. Easy. Something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors, and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds, and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey! Isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted, and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they'd split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go.
our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Repeat? <coughs> the guilds, huh? where we end this one because wow yeah I played a lot um and we'll come back to this maybe in, in like a week or so I'll try to come back sooner than I did last time but for those of you watching on YouTube thank you all for coming in take care and I'll see you guys later